sa edukasyong hatid sa bawat tahanan walang iwanan because we learn as one A wonderful day, everyone! I am your teacher, Mitch, and these are my friends, Ate Ryan Kuya Al. Hello, everyone! Welcome to We Learn As One, My TV School! Teacher Mitch, Kuya Al and I really had fun reading our story last time. Yes, Ate Rai. And I know we are going to read our story again today. Right, Teacher Mitch? Yes! Today, we will keep practicing words and rereading our story. Do you remember the name of our story? It's called The End of the World. That's correct! Do you remember what it's about? Rooster wants to go see the end of the world. First, he tells Hen he wants to see the other side of the fence. Then, he wants to see the other side of more places. And different animals tell him where to go. That is correct too, Aterai. What is the last place Rooster wants to see? That's right. He wants to see the other side of the city. But then, he sees his fans and is back at home when the story ends. As we reread today, think why the author chose to write the story that way. Remember, we can learn from stories, even made-up stories. Now, let's get started by taking another look at some of the words we've learned from the story. Listen as I read each word. World Want why? Here. Nice. Now read the words with me. World. Want. Why. Here. Nice. Good job! Now, here is a new word. This word is fence. Spell and read the word with me. F. E N C E Fence We have a fence around our playground here at school. It is made of wire instead of wood like the fence in our story. Our principal says it will not easily break. Our next word is says. Let's spell and read it together. S A Y S Says. Oh, not quite, Kuya Al. This word does not sound the way it looks. Listen. S. E. Z. Says. Now try it again. Okay, Teacher Mitch, I'll try. S. E. Z. Says. Good job, Kuya Al! You tried it again and you did it! I know what it means, Teacher Mitch. If someone says something, that means they speak words or talk. If one of you says good morning to the other, you speak the words good morning. Our next word is other. Let's spell and read it together. O T H E R Other I have this pencil. If I say I have other pencils, it means I have more pencils. Our next word is river. Let's spell it and read it together. R I V E R River we have many beautiful beaches here in the Philippines. We have rivers too. The longest river is the Cagayan River. And... 
We also have the Pasig River. The Pasig River passes through five cities, including Manila. Our next word is city. Let's spell and read together. C I T Y City. Manila is our capital city. Do you live in a city? Which one? Some of you are joining us from Iloilo City. Others are watching from Legaspi City. We are glad to have you with us no matter what city or town you are in. Now you know more words that are important for reading our story. Let's read them one more time. Fence Says Other River City We learned about certain kinds of words called prepositions. What do prepositions tell us? I remember, they tell us about time. Think again, Kuya Al. Think about the prepositions we learned. Under, through, over, and across. What do these words help us understand when we read? Oh, they tell about direction or place. I have an example. Over my head is here where my hand is. That is a good example, Kuya Al. Aterai, can you give us an example of a preposition? Yes, Teacher Mitch. I like to sit under the bani tree for shade when it is very hot outside. Under is a preposition. Nicely done, Aterai. Let's read the prepositions we learned together. Over. Through, across, under. Good work, children! We're ready to read now! Teacher Mitch, let's go back to the yard! I like reading in the yard! Bright idea! Come on! I will read the page first. You will echo or read the page after me. The End of the World Story by Education Development Center Illustrations by Ryan Bordadora Rooster says, I want to see the end of the world. Hen says, Why? I like it here. It is nice here in the yard. Rooster, Rooster says, says, I want to see the end of the world. Hen says, Why? I like it here. It is nice here in the yard. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the fence. Hen says, Go over the fence and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the fence. Hen says, Go over the fence and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the forest. Goat says, Go through the forest and see. Rooster says, I want to see the, the other, other side, side of, of the forest. Goat says, Go through the forest and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the mountain. 
Monkey says, Go over the mountain and see. Rooster, Rooster says, I want to see the other, other side, side of, of the, the mountain. mountain. Monkey says, Go over the mountain and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the river. Fish says, Go across the river and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the river. Fish says, Go across the river and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the plains. Snake says, Go across the plains and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the plains. Snake says, Go across the plains and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the jungle. Eagle says, Go under the trees and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the jungle. Eagle says, Go under the trees and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the city. Elephant says, Go to the city and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the city. Elephant says, Go through the city and see. Rooster says, I see my fence. He jumps over the fence. Rooster says, I see my fence. He jumps over the fence. Rooster says, I like it here. Hen says, I like it here too. And it's nice here in the yard. Rooster says, I like it here. Hen says, I like it here too. It is nice here in the yard. Nicely done, everyone. Rooster wants to see a lot. What are some of the places he wants to see? That's right. He begins by saying he wants to see the end of the world. Then, he wants to see the other side of the fence. After the other side of the fence comes the other side of the forest, the mountain, the river, the plains, the jungle, and the city. What do you know about some of these places? I know that forests and jungles have a lot of trees and other plants, and different kinds of animals live there. A river flows near my home and my father catches fish there. I've never been to the mountains. But I know that they are very tall with plants on top and caves under them. 
cities have a lot of tall buildings. But what are planes, Teacher Mitch? Planes are large flat spaces of land, Kuya Al. I see, like where the rice grows. Yes, Kuya Al. Now, everyone, take a look at this page. Of the animals that Rooster talks to, it is a snake that tells him to go across the plains. This is the word snake. What letter pattern do you see at the end of the word? That's right! It has the vowel consonant E letter pattern. How does the vowel sound in this pattern? We say the first vowel's name, A. We do not say a sound for the final E. Yes, Ate Rai. We say the first vowel's name in this kind of letter pattern. Let's say the sounds in the word together. S, M, A, K, Snake. Now we can read this word. I see the letter pattern I, consonant E. The letter I says its name. T, I, M, Time. Good job! Let's read this word. I see the letter pattern A, consonant E. The A says its name. K, A, V, Cave. You did it! Here's the next word. Look at the letter pattern. What sound does the O make? Yes! The letter O says its name. Sound out the word with me. P O L Pole Here's another word. Look at the letter pattern. The word ends in U, consonant E. The U says its name. Sound out the word with me. L U T Flute Now, why don't we have some quick fun with these words? Let's think of rhyming words for some of them. I'll clap two times and say one of the words and you take turns clapping and saying a word that rhymes with my word. Ready? Snake Take Shake! I like that! Here's another word! Pole! Hole! Mole! How about this word? Cave! Wave! Save! That was fun, children! You can think about sounds in words and practice by showing everyone at home how to play our little game! Now, let's read the story one more time! As we read, think about what the author teaches in this story. This time, we will read together. If you have trouble with a word, just keep going. Don't give up trying. Are you ready to read? The End of the World Story by Education Development Center Illustrations by Ryan Bordadora Rooster says, I want to see the end of the world. Hen says, Why? I like it here. It is nice here in the yard. Rooster says, I, I want, want to see, see the other side of the fence. Hen says, Go, go over the fence and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the forest. Goat says, 
Go, Go through, through the, the forest, forest and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the mountain. Monkey says, Go over the mountain and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the river. Fish says, Go across the river and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the plains. Snake says, Go across the plains and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the jungle. Eagle says, Go under the trees and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the city. Elephant says, Go through the city and see. Rooster says, I see my fence. He jumps over the fence. Rooster says, I like it here. Hen says, I like it here too. It is nice here in the yard. That was well done, children. Remember, the author sometimes writes stories in a way that teaches a lesson. The first time we talked about it, some of you thought that the lesson was that even when we leave home and go other places, home is nice too. One way we can understand the lesson in a story is to think about how the most important character changes. We can notice what the character is like at the end of the story. In this story, the most important character is Rooster. Where is Rooster at the beginning of the story? The pictures show him inside the fence with hen, like in a backyard. Think of what things might be like in a yard. What might Rooster see or do each day? Hmm, our chickens just walk around the yard and scratch for rocks and worms. They only see what is in the yard. That is why I think Rooster is tired of being in the yard. He believes he will like other places better than being inside the fence in the yard. That's a very good idea, Kuya Al. It seems that Rooster does not like being in the yard at the beginning of the story. How is he different at the end of the story? It appears that he likes the yard at the end of the story. The author doesn't tell us why he changed. But why do you think he changed? Maybe he was lonely or hungry. Maybe he saw things that were scary or things he didn't understand. Both of those are good ideas, Atira and Kuya Al. They are good reasons why someone might think being at home is just as nice as being in other places. And speaking of nice places to be, I think our classroom is nice. Let's go back to the classroom. I like being here in the yard, but... It's nice being in our classroom too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Now, we're at the end of today's session and you've worked very hard. You've read a story that teaches a lesson. Home can be just as nice as anywhere else you might go. You also learn to read some words by sight, as well as words with the vowel, consonant E, letter pattern, and prepositions. That is a lot of learning! 
And that is what we do here at my TV school. Until we are together again, I will give you some things to do at home. Use what you've learned today to reread The End of the World at Home and retell the story to family and friends. Then, Think of one of the places Rooster went and ask someone at home what they know about the place. Write and draw it below. Then, write three sentences to tell why Rooster might have wanted to leave that place and go back home. I'm excited about the next chance we have to get together to read and learn. Until then, goodbye! Take, snake, shake, we learn.